Hey guys, this is Mike Rick of 113, and this is the uh, Tech Power TP30 SW2 uh, switching power supply 30 amp uh, switching power supply 30 amp max and uh, 25 amps uh, steady for, for the most part. Uh, I had to get this just recently because uh, my trip light started arcing and sparking. <laughs> And we're still trying to figure out what it is. It was coming uh, from the uh, top center uh, heat sink area where uh, a rectifier diode uh, is present. But I'm not really sure if that was what was sparking it. Uh, but we will be looking into that and trying to uh, fix the issue. Uh, but in the meantime, I figured I'd get this uh, tech power supply that was recommended from a, uh, a fellow ham and Seabeer. And uh, he has one. I think it's the digital one, which is uh, a more updated version of this one. But they work just the same. This is the analog meter, as you can see. It shows you your voltage, and it shows you your, uh, your amperage that's being used at the time. Uh, this is also adjustable voltage, anywhere between uh, 9 volts and 15 volts. But there is a switch on the back that will keep it at 13.8 volts, is what I need for running my radios. Uh, there's a noise offset knob on here as well. Uh, if you have any birdies or noise that's coming from uh, the power supply, which happens every uh, 30 to 35 uh, uh, megahertz or so, not 30 megahertz, kilohertz, I'm sorry. Uh, you can adjust for that. I haven't noticed any noise on this supply, knock on wood, so far. But, uh, you know, it's there if I need it. Um, in the front here at the bottom, you have your little uh, plug-in ports there where the red button and the black button are. That's for 3 amps, so if you have a, uh, a uh, power meter, SWR meter, or something of that nature that runs off DC, uh, you could use it there or any kind of project you're running. Also, this is the uh, cigarette port right here. Uh, I call it a cigarette lighter, but this is 12 amp or 12 volt plug here. It's 10 amps only. Uh, it's kind of funny. They say in the in the manual not to put a cigarette lighter <laughs> uh, in like they had in the old cars, not in there. Uh, so 10 amps here, three amps down here. Your analog meter, your voltage adjustment, and your uh, your noise offset there. Uh, this is your power on and off, and this is your volts, uh, volt meter to, uh, looks like it's doing 3.9 there. I don't know how well I trust that meter, and, uh, and your amperage there. In the back, let's see if I can show this to you. In the back, you got your banana, uh, plugs here. These screw on and off here. They screw, whoops, they screw on and off, and you can put your, uh, your radio to that, there are 3 8 uh, bolts or screws there. And then you got your power supply here. It's kind of like the old uh, computer plug there. And there's a fan that goes on when, it, when the unit gets hot. My fan has not come on yet. And uh, so 30 amps back here. So if you're hooking up a radio, uh, your CB radio, maybe you're running a, uh, a kicker or something like that, or your GMRS radio, or your ham radio, I'm running my Yaesu FT991 Alpha on this right now, so uh, that's what's going on there. Let's get this back into focus. So yeah, yeah, not too bad. I have, I've only used it for two days now, but that's what's going on. So once again, this is the Tech Power uh, TP30 SW2 Switching Power Supply. This is my Cricket 113. I'll be clear.